class was born out of a Hamakua Workforce Development Committee, and um, this was to uh, promote getting the students and uh, the unemployed out in Hamakua to get employed through Hohonua Bio Energy Company uh, out in Hamakua. So the course development came about through the state and Department of Labor and uh, we developed it into a course that came out as uh, forestry greenhouse construction. So I put the course together for that reason and the two communities we're serving right now is out in Hamakua, Lapohoihoi and also the Hilo community um, back in town. Yeah. Overall we have 11 students out of Hilo and two out of Lapohoihoi right now. So 13 total and that's about it. Uh, it's a forestry driven course. But of course, I wanted to kind of broaden the picture of the course, so uh, we added in uh, a lot of new stuff into the course because we have actually a lot of time during the day. We go six hours a day, four days a week for four weeks, and that's really a lot of time, you know, to spend lecturing and stuff. So uh, we brought in a host of guest speakers to help the students gain extra knowledge, I think, other than just the forestry um, part of the course. And what are the types of things that the students are learning? First of all, we went into hydroponics, which is my kind of expertise part. We got the students involved with the Kokua Puna project that we're doing here, producing fresh vegetables for the displaced people down in Puna from the lava flow. So they actually got us started here. They put up the first uh, six tables and uh, before the end, they'll put in three more tables. So they have nine tables set up. They put in 13 tanks behind here for their own personal use. We'll have them take these tanks home. So yeah, the hydroponics part is, uh, I think they really enjoy that part. And I think they'll take that home and they'll take that knowledge home, how to produce their own food economically and safely. Yeah. We also had Ho Honua come in. We had Warren Lee, Guy Pieri, and the plant manager come in talk about the Hohonua project out in uh, Hamakua, what they're doing with the eucalyptus, um, doing sustainable electricity production out there with the uh, eucalyptus trees. And um, they're online to go on December 31st. And hopefully now, I think the students know what those trees are all about out there, what they're gonna be used for, and they have a better understanding what's uh, happening out in Hamakua. The forestry part, we had Orlo Steele and Jan Johansson do the hands-on part down at the HEC laboratory. We have a forestry greenhouse out there that they got to tour and also do some forestry seed propagation. Yeah, They had did mamaki, they did some palms out there, um, some coal, so uh, that was a good experience out there. The big picture is they realized that there is a future in ag, number one, I think I exposed them enough to where um, Hilo High right now will will have a good egg program, I believe. The 11 students that they got right now, I think they'll have a good base to a, for a good egg program. I think only two of them are seniors, so they got a lot of underclassmen, and looks like we got some leaders in there. So I'm happy for that, and I'm happy for their program, and um, HEC is gonna help them out as much as we can to get that program going. Um, and their model and hopefully um, you know we at HEC also get some students out there and uh, start releasing um, students out into the community with egg backgrounds and hopefully they get do some farming or do some uh, something to do with egg. Yeah. I'm hopeful that Anthony has a good turnout for his egg program over there and then um, yeah we can get them kick-started with a good solid egg program. At Hilo High. My name is Anthony Pao Pao. I am the Hilo High School teacher and I what I did is I recruited kids to come to this program so I'm sort of like a liaison between the community college and Hilo High School. Um, I'm also learning a little bit myself so I can teach this class in the upcoming semester at Hilo High. The big picture plan here is to get students exposure to the natural resources pathway and it's sort of a broad exposure that we're giving them. Um, a lot of them are coming in with little or no experience, so we want to get them interested, get them motivated, get them uh, excited about <laughs> agriculture and natural resources. With the Honua Ola project that's coming out, there's going to be a lot of jobs. So we're learning about what those jobs are going to require and if there's ways that our Hilo High School graduates can fill them or can be as best prepared to fill them so that they have a great opportunity once they graduate. What have you been doing in this program for the uh, last few days? We've been really doing a lot. Um, learning about hydroponics, aquaponics, 
and how like plants can help the community. What have you been doing today? Uh, we've been building a greenhouse, um, and then we actually did a project about fire ants, how we can get rid of it. It's been really helpful. It's rid of like most of the fire ants that you know really affects the people around us, as well as the creatures and animals. What else have you, have you done today? We're just working on a uh, sugar cane juice. We actually cut it and then we put it into a machine that grinds it, squeezes the juice out, and then take out the skin and just throw it away. Have you ever done any anything like what you're doing? Uh, not at all. So it's like really a first time experience for me. And what made you take this program this summer? Um, I just wanted to try it out, you know, keep myself busy over the summer and really enjoyed it so far. Really don't want it to end, but so um, tell me what you've been what you've been doing in this program. Mostly how to set up a hydroponic system and how to set up like a greenhouse so you can cover it, make sure it's protected from like pests and things like that. We learned about like different materials you can make the greenhouses out of, different growing methods. But the one we're working with right now is hydroponics. And what's been the most memorable experience of this program so far? Um, watching the plants grow is probably the best part because you get to see them when they're just little seedlings and they just pop up they're super fast and you're like, whoa, uh, this, this actually works. So that's exciting to see the progress that you make. So why did you decide to enroll in this program? To learn about plants and agriculture and how it can make a positive impact in our lives and as well as others. When we first came to the UH farm, we did a lot of activities. We did sugar cane, we made sugar cane juice. We tasted mamaki tea for the first time and we basically got to experience what it was like to work at a farm or how to cultivate it. Cool, anything else you want to add? This program was really a great experience and I would definitely take this in college. And uh, how did you get in involved in this program? Um, Mr. Popo, okay. he introduced it in class. What's the most interesting thing you learned? Building the greenhouse and um, yeah, just all the hands-on stuff. Okay, cool. And what grade are you in? I just graduated. Just graduated from high school. Yeah. Congratulations. So what's been the most memorable experience in the program? The most memorable? Guaranteed meeting new people and other adults that have this as a profession. What is, your, what is your impression of? Can't wait. Can't wait? Can't wait. So are you going to enroll in, uh, are you going to pursue agriculture? Yes, I, I'm currently applying for a Kupu program to further enhance my knowledge on this stuff, such as forestry, agriculture. So after Kupu, I plan to attend here, HCC. What would you say to somebody who is thinking about getting involved in this program or agriculture in general? I highly recommend it. Do it right away.